you've probably heard the phrase, the camera adds 10 pounds. Uh, so how many cameras are actually on you? <laughs> Obviously, the camera isn't making you heavier. So why does the camera sometimes make us look weird? There actually is some distortion going on when you take a picture of yourself. Usually the effect is minimal, but sometimes it gets pretty wild. And if you're looking, you can see it with the simple camera trick. There's no filter here. To take these pictures, we move the camera a little bit further away on each shot, while zooming in to keep the person's head the same size. When you flip through them one after another, it looks like you're stretching the person by pulling on their nose. You've seen this camera trick at work before, but maybe you haven't recognized it. In films, it's usually called a dolly zoom, or a Hitchcock zoom, named because Hitchcock pioneered it in the movie Vertigo. To create a dolly zoom, the camera zooms in at the same time as it moves away from the subject, all while keeping the subject the same size in the frame. By changing the focal length, or zooming, and moving the camera, you can add in more background or take it away, creating an unsettling effect. In movies, it's often used to show how characters are disoriented, or when characters are silently thinking, oh no, what's going on here? To understand, we have to look at the way that our eyes take in light. A camera or your eye has a finite aperture, so there's an opening that rays of light from the object you're looking at, they go through that aperture, and there's an angular effect. Even though two objects may be the same size, when one is farther away, the light bouncing off of it and into our eye is constrained by the iris, making it appear smaller. Without a lens, these two objects would just appear to us as blobs of light. A lens bends and focuses light rays so that we can see a clear image. A camera works in essentially the same way as our eye, with a lens, an aperture, and a sensor. But adding a camera lens makes things a bit more complicated. The lens bends the rays in such a way that there's a little bit more exaggeration of some effects. Farther away objects can appear even smaller than they normally would have, and closer in objects can appear even bigger than they normally would have. In order to achieve a dolly zoom, we have to change the focal length of the lens while moving the camera. Changing the focal length of the lens exaggerates the stretching or squashing of an object beyond the effect of the aperture. This kind of distortion could be one reason why we look okay in the mirror, but struggle to take a good selfie. People tend to look more natural at a focal length of around 40 to 50 millimeters, one that most approximates what we see with our eyes. The focal length of your cell phone camera is roughly equivalent to a 28 to 30 millimeter lens. The lenses and iPhones are very short focal length, and people's arms are only several feet long. So they're taking a short focal length lens and holding it pretty close to, to the object, that is their face. Photos taken at a selfie distance, or around 12 inches away, can distort your nose by up to 30%. A recent survey found that 55% of facial plastic surgeons saw patients who want to look better in selfies in their practices. But there's no need to go under the knife. Just get a selfie stick, or a friend.